Body surfing is like no other wave riding style. Except for a pair of fins and your swimwear, it's just you and the ocean. It's that element that attracts many. I would say just like a surfboard person, you know, there's days where they get short rides and there's days they have long rides. It's what Mother Nature throws at you and you just try to make the best of it with what you have and which is literally yourself and a pair of fins, you know, and that's what makes it even more challenging. For me, it's sort of a combination of oneness and freedom, I suppose. You don't have all the equipment binding you, so there's a big feeling of freedom out there. And you become, I think, less separated from the ocean by the fact that you're not covered with so much equipment. In fact, you could body surf naked. What I love about body surfing here, the hook for me was the simplicity of it. Just a simple pair of fins, a pair of trunks, and uh, you could go anywhere. Surf doesn't have to be great, just the uh, freedom and the beauty of being able to swim in you know, the beautiful, clean ocean was a big part of the attraction for me. Bruce Lee and Mark Cunningham are well respected in the body surfing community and both got their start in similar fashion. Way back in the early 60s when I started surfing we didn't have leashes so every time we lost our board, which was quite often, we had to swim for it so we wound up body surfing. <laughs> no choice. Back in the early 70s before body boards, uh, that's how most uh, folks got their start in ocean sports. You had to learn to body surf to sort of graduate onto board surfing. So uh, Makapu and Sandy were very close for me and uh, just took to it really well. There are many different beaches to body surf at. Most in Hawaii require wave knowledge and ability. Spots like Sandy Beach, Makapu and the North Shore are not for beginners. Experienced body surfers can make things look very easy, but oftentimes it takes years of learning to get there. You go to any coastline or shoreline anywhere in the world and you always see people just being drawn to the ocean and trying to ride the waves. There's some sort of magnetism there, there's some sort of magic. And uh, just having a pair of fins on gives you that extra momentum, the extra kick, and uh, just being able to match momentum and uh, ride the waves with you know just your body is really unique feeling. Over the last couple of decades, we've seen an increase in bodyboarders and surfers. In fact, many believe the pure body surfer is a dying breed. It's not as popular as it used to be. All the kids are hopping onto bodyboards nowadays. Uh, I call body surfers an endangered species. It seems like uh, so many kids are just going straight onto bodyboards and staying on them or going onto the you know stand-up boards from there. Board surfing, you cover a lot more area and you have a lot more speed, but. Once again, you're dependent on that surfboard, whereas body surfing, it's sort of just you and the ocean. It's got that special feeling about it. And it's that special feeling that keeps these guys going. And every once in a while, a new face arrives on the beach with fins in hand and the desire to learn. Body surfers say, welcome aboard. Glad you could join us.